No offense, I want to go to sleep. Well, hello people, it's the internet. My name is Kevin and welcome back to another video. So, for today's video, we are doing our 24-hour romance readathon with the squad, which of course is Chloe from Books with Chloe, Caitlin from Kate Literature, and Jamie from Jamie's Library. I will link all of their blogs down below and their channels. You should go check them out. I'm pretty sure you know who they all are at this point, but just in case you don't, they're all down below. Anyways, we're doing our monthly romance readathon again, and as you may tell, I'm not in my usual location because I am currently in London. I am in London from September till October. I'm here for like a month. So this is going to be my 24 hour romance readathon London edition, which is very exciting. And yeah, I'm going to give you like a little quick room tour because you know what? I haven't done a room tour for like a hotel in so long. Also, I am really vibing myself today. Oh, just me and my trash. That's where I belong. So coming over here, this is the door. We got a mirror, hair dryer for drying the hair, you know, that's what it's for. And this is the room. Excuse the little bit of a mess, like, because my bag and I've, s yeah, that's going on over there. Bed, don't really have a view, it's just like a building, so nothing really to show there. Then I've got just like a TV and stuff there. And then I have my KFC stuff because I got KFC. Um, and then this really stunning photo over my bed of just London, like a big Ben and stuff. It's really stunning, I really love it. Bathroom in there, which, you know, it's a bathroom. Yeah, bathroom. Hey. So yeah, that's a fun little vibe, and that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna actually head out, so we're gonna do a proper little London day vlog, and I'm gonna do some reading. I'm staying quite close to Hyde Park, so I'm actually thinking I'm gonna go read there. I was gonna go read at Green Park, because that's beside Buckingham Palace, and I thought that could be fun, but Hyde Park looks really nice. There's a Kensington Palace there as well and Kensington Gardens. So I'll show you guys all that. But the book that I am reading, you may wonder, is Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney. So yeah, I've just sat you guys down because holding that like that, it just wasn't the vibe. But yeah, so Normal People was one of my favorite books of the year. I absolutely loved it. And of course, I want to read more of Sally Rooney's books. So I have Conversation with Friends and we're all currently reading this as well, like me, Chloe, Caitlin. I think they've actually both already finished it because the readathon started last night. I just didn't want to vlog last night because I had to shower and I was just like in bed and I was like, you know what, I'm going to start my vlog in the morning. But I did actually start the book already and I got like, I think, I don't have my bookmark with me. Okay, I got to page 34 and I'm on chapter 5. And I really am currently really enjoying it. I also really need to go buy a pen when I'm out and about today because I have so many parts in here already that I want to annotate because one of the main characters in here, Bobby, is literally Jamie. Like, I started reading it. I read, like, the first chapter. And we were on FaceTime last night when I was reading it. And I literally just went to Jamie. I was like, Jamie, is the reason you love conversation with friends more than normal people because of Bobby? And then she was like, yeah, because I am Bobby. And I was like... The fact that I picked up on that in the first chapter, like, I love that. And yeah, so so far I'm really liking it. It basically just follows, like, these four characters. We've kind of only touched into, like, two characters so far, which is Francis and Bobby. They're, like, basically friends that they've known since college and like, secondary school together. Like, they've been friends for so long. And then there's these other two characters who are married called Melissa. Is it Melissa? Melissa and Nick. And they are, like, a married couple who are having, like, marriage issues at the moment. And I think the way the book is going to go is that I think they're going to end up separating, like, their marriage. And then I think Francis is going to end up with Nick. And I think Bobby is going to end up with Melissa. Possibly. I'm not too sure. So we'll see how that goes. But, yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading it. I definitely think this is going to be a bit more of, like, a sadder, like, deep and like deal with like depression stuff in it more than normal people so i'm not sure how i'm going to react to that like i could react well or not we shall see but i have kind of like mentally prepared myself for that because i knew that this is more of the tone for this book so you know what we're just gonna go with it we're just gonna see how it goes and yeah that's that i am going to go pack my little backpack because we're going on a trip in london okay guys i wasn't planning to use my phone <laughs> for film blogging and stuff but I'm walking currently to Hyde Park and there's just this like church and it literally is like the Institute in the Mortal Instruments. So I'm gonna turn the camera around right now and like tell me that's not the New York Institute. Like it literally is. Oh, I can't turn from here. That's awkward. <laughs> like tell me that's not the London, the, not London, the New York Institute. 
I'm gonna get a bit closer to it. Sorry, but that is the New York Institute. Like, Clary and everyone is in there. That is the Institute. <laughs> Very short. Oh my god, Bert. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay guys, so I've found myself a bench after much searching and there was literally so many swans and different types of birds and like ducks and everything. There were so many pigeons. I literally was walking at one point past like a water section and it was like this really weird like type of duck with like it was like black and white it looked like a penguin obviously it wasn't a penguin and like it literally flapped its wings at me when I was standing beside it I was like oh my god this is how I die I'm about to get attacked by this bird but then also like if I hadn't got attacked by that bird I would have fell into the war maybe a stunning man might have come to save me could have had my meet cute moment but alas did not happen. Anyways, I'm on my bench. Chloe's also down here on FaceTime. You definitely cannot see her, but she's down there. And I have my book sleeve, and I'm gonna, you know what? Do you know what I'm gonna do? Also, there is a lawnmower, so I'm sorry if you can hear that and it's really loud. But, I'm gonna read. Also, I'm right at Kensington Palace. Like, how stunning. This is my surroundings. Really pretty moment, reading my book. Oh, if I had brought like red, white, and royal blue to read here, that would have been a stunning moment, wouldn't it? Maybe I should have reread it. I should have gotten a copy and reread it somewhere. Okay, guys, so I've come to Green Park, which is the park right beside Buckingham Palace, and I have been sitting on this bench reading Conversation with Friends, of course. And I've gotten up to page 91, I'm on chapter 11, and I am find this one very interesting. Of course, I loved. Oh, focus. Of course I love normal people like so much and like this one is definitely a lot different and like the way the romance is playing out it's a little bit different also and I don't know it's taken me a little bit longer I think to get into the romance element of it but like some of the quotes and everything I'm really liking and like the characters like I really like Bobby as a character I finding Frances interesting I'm still trying to really work her out in my head I feel like I felt like this way with normal people too like it took me a while to figure out Marianne and like fully understand her but then again I kind of feel like I got her more like I feel like I connect to like her struggles and her trauma and like everything that she was dealing with and with Frances I feel like there's definitely underlying things there as well that is probably gonna get discussed more and I'm gonna understand her a lot more but as of right now I'm still like trying to figure her out I don't know why this keeps unfocusing and it's really annoying me I'm so sorry if it keeps focusing and unfocusing I don't know why the camera is doing that maybe I'm too close or something I don't know. And also the romance is kind of like between a married couple like that are on the verge of breaking up but they're not broken up so I don't know if I'm liking the vibe that it's basically like an affair. So I don't know how I feel about that but again we'll see how it goes as the story is progressing. I am also bearing in mind that Joe Alwyn which is Taylor Swift's partner at the moment is going to be playing Nick the main character male love interest in this book. So that's really exciting and I'm like, I'm just picturing that and like, you know, Taylor has probably read this book. So like I'm reading a book that Taylor Swift has read. So kind of love that. And I'm reading it in London and she has her own London boy. Like the worlds are just aligning right now and I feel great. I feel great. Like, I definitely think I liked normal people more. I don't think I'm liking this as much as normal people yet. That could change. I'm gonna move locations as well. I think I'm gonna go to like Buckingham Palace, sit there for a bit and read another chapter because I wanna get up to like a hundred and something before I go back to my hotel. And I'm gonna move because this keeps unfocusing and I don't understand why my camera is doing this and it's really offensive. Like, ew! But also, I look kinda good right now. Okay, 
I got my thumbnail moment. Let's go to Buckingham Palace, I guess. Also, the fact I'm vlogging in public. Like, there's people over there. There's someone also about to walk right past me. And you know what? I'm just gonna keep thriving. I'm gonna keep doing my own thing. I'm never gonna see these people again, so he saw me vlogging. Do I care? No. The old Kevin cannot come to the phone right now. Why? Because he is dead. Not the helicopter. Okay guys, so it is later, and when I say later, <laughs> I do mean later, because it is currently 9.20pm. I stopped my reading on the bench at Green Park at like 5 o'clock. I went, obviously walked around Buckingham Palace and stuff, I didn't read anymore. Came back to my hotel, got food, ate my food, watched some Love Island, because the TV that I have in my hotel room is a smart TV and it has like ITV hub and it has the old seasons of Love Island so I've been re-watching the 2019 season 5 because that is my favourite season and like I've just been re-watching the episodes of it so I watched a couple of those and I kind of forgot all about the fact that this is a reading vlog and I'm meant to be reading. So I think I'm going to read now for a bit and hopefully not fall asleep because I am feeling really tired but I do want to read more and I definitely want to get to like the 100 page mark which is only 10 pages because I'm on page 91 so 9 pages. I just need to read 9 pages and I'll feel accomplished but obviously I would ideally like to finish it but we'll see the vibe like the thing is, when it comes to these reading blogs as well, like usually around this time of the day is when I feel my dip because Caitlin, Chloe and Jamie are all asleep and like when I'm doing the readathon, when they are all awake and like encouraging me to keep reading and stuff and I'm like absorbed into the reading world with them, I tend to read more. But because they're all asleep, well actually Caitlin is awake, I'm not sure about Jamie, but Caitlin's doing like work stuff and stuff, so like when they are awake and when they're on face or when they're talking to me like i get like walking back up again so hopefully like i'll be reading now for a bit until they all are like awake again and stuff and ready to chit chat or whatever maybe then i won't like fall asleep i'll continue reading but for now oh no you're not me yawning mid vlog also does anyone ever else do that like when you yawn you just tear up and it looks like you're crying. I swear I do that all the time. Like, I, there must be some science behind that. Like, you know what it is? You yawn because you're tired and then your body and soul are tearing up because they're like, no offense, I wanna go to sleep. Like, that's what your eyes are doing. They're trying to cry because they wanna go to sleep. That makes sense. That's my new theory. Anyways, I'm gonna go back to the book because, yeah. As I said, this is a reading vlog. I'm feeling silly and sleepy. <laughs> Anyways, like I said, I'm gonna go read. Hello everyone. So it is currently, I think like 2.30ish perhaps at night and I am very, very, very tired. So I'm gonna go to sleep. I actually read a little bit, not a lot. Don't get your hopes up. I got up to page 127, chapter 15 of Conversation With Friends. And like I already said earlier in the clip that I am feeling just really conflicted with the book. But Caitlin said a really stunning moment. And do you wanna say it again, Caitlin? Yeah, you're gonna say it again. <laughs> You're providing me and Chloe's content. This is my new full-time job. <laughs> we were talking about how conversations with friends is 
more uncomfortable in terms of romance and you're not necessarily like, oh, exactly them together. You're like, oh, I don't know about this, and a bit more trepidatious. And I think it's very deliberate and we see the juxtaposition in the two novels because normal people is essentially about how beautiful love can be, whereas Conversations with Friends is the other end and is more to do with how tragic and toxic and messy and damaging love can be. Like, if that like clip of Caitlin talking about that did not confirm for you that she's literally one of the smartest people in the world, I don't know what else I can do to prove that for you. So, like, I wouldn't have even drew from that, but... And you know what? That's the way I'm not becoming the English teacher, you know? Like, with this book, I am really conflicted because there is moments with the two characters that I'm kind of like, oh, cute. And then I'm like, oh, but wait, I don't like this. It's like, I don't know. Like, mm, yeah, mm. like that's how you feel. And yeah. it's just, it's a weird one. It's weird. I'm weird. Life is weird. Really? Everything's weird, you know? I, the is having a <laughs> Really? Chloe and I were talking about that, that particular part of things as well. And we were saying how obviously so many stunning lines are normal people. And the fact that like it's them saying it to each other is like everything. But in conversations with friends, if there's like a really nice moment or a nice piece of dialogue or something, you're like, oh, nice. But you're saying it about the line itself rather than the fact that it's a moment between those two characters. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Anything to say, Chloe? Yeah. I'd like to say that Kevin got angry at me for reading during the readathon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, who reads during a readathon? I was enjoying my book and Kevin was like, oh! And he literally hung up the FaceTime. And then he messaged me and said, let me know when you're ready to talk. Because, <laughs> like, I just wanted to chit-chat, like... I was ready to chat when I finished my book. You weren't ready, so... Anyways. So, yeah, that's how I'm feeling with the book. And I'm 127 pages in, as I already said. And, like, it is really easy to read. And, like, there is the moments I'm getting that I'm really liking it. And then there's... I just... It comes back, like, what's going on. And you just... It makes you uncomfortable. And it makes you want to have conversations with friends about the book. I actually am. Like, I think we should just end the clip on that. I'm gonna go to bed. Okay, guys, so it's several days later. Also, apologies if the lighting looks weird. The sun's kind of setting. I'm trying to get the last bit of sunlight. So, that's why it looks like that. I look kind of red. It looked disgusting. Anyways, we're just gonna continue on with the wrap up for the vlog. I have just finished Conversation with Friends by Sally Rooney. And I feel like with this book, I've had such a weird experience with it because, first of all, I definitely preferred. Normal People by Sally Rooney. Like, I definitely preferred that one. That's still a five-star book for me. And with this one, upon finishing it, I don't want to give it a rating. And that's not because I disliked the book. It's because the reading experience that I've had with this was just such a unique one for me that I don't actually know what I would rate it. All I know is that it's not as good as normal people. Like, for me, like, if I'm comparing the two, I prefer normal people. Because with Conversation with Friends, there's parts that I liked about it, and then there's parts I didn't like. I did feel that this one was a little bit more hard for me to get into, and I know, obviously, I was enjoying it at parts, but I really started to feel like it was kind of dragging, or just, like, nothing was really happening, and I was kind of just getting a little bored, and I also found it hard to, to connect to the characters. Like, I feel like the only character I really connected to was Bobby, particularly, because I found, like, Bobby to be really interesting. I liked her personality. I liked how funny she was. I liked how she was not afraid to, like, challenge people in conversations and talk about topics that need to be talked about and, like, people... and calling people out on things that they're saying. I really liked that and I really enjoyed Bobby and I really, like, liked her as a character. But the rest of them, Nick, Francis, and Melissa... Melissa's kind of not really a main character. It's mainly Nick and Francis. I just don't know how I feel about them after finishing it like Nick is kind of just there he's just like a man that's just there for me yeah like the only good thing about it is that knowing in the adaptation it's gonna be Joe Alwyn which is Taylor Swift's partner so that's all I care about and then with Frances I felt like there was parts where I was like relating to her with like some of her stuff that she was dealing with like mental health wise and stuff like that and she had a lot of stuff going on so definitely look up the trigger warnings for this because there is a lot of trigger warnings for the stuff that's going on with Frances 
And yeah, I just, I don't know. It's a very tricky one and a really hard one for me to put my thoughts into words because it's very complex. There's a lot to it. There's a lot going on with the characters emotionally. Like, I didn't hate it. By all means, did not hate this book. I did, like enjoy it as well like as I said there was highs and lows in this book for me that's why it's just such a difficult one for me to like give a star rating on it because I really just don't know like where it would fit so I just think I'm honestly just not going to rate the book I think I'm just going to leave it as like a no star rating and yeah this is my thoughts you guys know that I did like it and like I just part I didn't like it's just very yeah <laughs> like I feel like the way I'm speaking makes it sound like it's a three star book but then when I think three stars I'm like no this writing was like a lot more better than a three star like it's just I don't know <laughs> I really don't know and just one thing I really wanted to touch on really quick about Sally Rooney as an author is that one of the things that Sally Rooney does that I really really enjoy in her work is that she subliminally drops in these like messages about real world topics and real things going on in the world right now and she integrates it into the story so well that it actually makes you think about things yourself as the reader. And then there's another part in here where it also talked about police brutality and they talk about America and the police brutality that we see over in America. And then what I really liked, I think it was Bobby or Francis, one of them says that like, this is something that also just happens in Europe. And I love how Euro and Europe just thinks that they're so not like that because obviously the police brutality and everything is just not to the extreme that you see in the United States of America. Like, but that doesn't mean it's not present in Ireland. Just because we don't have guns in Ireland and everything, the police don't carry them, that does still not mean that there is no police brutality and there is not racism present in Ireland and UK, Europe, anywhere. It's still there. It's just, everyone kind of sees like, that's an America thing. It's not over here. That's not the case. And I really liked how they talked about that at one point. So yeah because it definitely made me think because i was like this is right like as a white person we can't really speak about this because we're don't experience it but that does not mean it does not happen over here so i really liked that conversation and i thought it was a really really important one and once again it's why i like sally rooney and how she just integrates into the book so yeah that is my thoughts on conversation with friends by sally rooney i am glad i read it and i cannot wait to read beautiful world where are you also by sally rooney because i just feel like her novels they're so great and like Obviously, I'm going to have normal people to, like on this podium for so long because I loved it so much. But that does not mean that I'm afraid of reading her other books. So, yeah, I look forward to reading that one. And that's going to be it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I will link down below, of course, Caitlin, Chloe and Jamie's vlogs down below on their channels. You should go check them all out and see what they read for the Romance Readathon. And other than that, that is going to be it for this video. And I shall see you all next time in my next one. So goodbye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>